Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video is weeks 13 through 17. Today's March 31st and I'm 18 weeks today. The baby is the size of like a chicken breast, size of a soda can, size of an artichoke. It's the size of a lot and it says today for week 18 it's six and a half ounces. So anyways though, I haven't made a video since weeks 9 through 12 so this video will be weeks 13 through 17 so I'm literally in my fifth month of pregnancy starting today. Like bruh, it doesn't even feel real. Um, I've only gained three pounds, like literally two and a half to three pounds. So I'm really, really like fortunate for that. Um, so, oh, these are the prenatals I take too. They're a new chapter and they are organic. And here, just waiting for it to focus. And um, they can be taken on an empty stomach. Um, they're non-GMO, they're whole food complex, they're probiotic culture. They're extremely, like, healthy, you know, healthier than most. Um, so, yeah. So, I take those. Um, so, week 13. So, I didn't throw up my whole entire pregnancy, my whole entire first trimester. So, I did pretty amazing. Um, and I'm, like, so grateful for that because I know some people that have, like, horror stories about throwing up. Like, literally. So, still to this day, just to give you a little bit of a background, I cannot drink coffee, really. Um... I can, but I can't. I can only drink like a half a cup. Some days I can drink a whole. I used to wake up and make coffee every single morning. Can't do that now. Literally, I don't even wake up and get coffee anymore. That's probably why I sound so drained now. Um, which it does like affect me. Because I've drank coffee for years. So not drinking is just like, it's just different, you know. Um, but it's just, I guess she doesn't like it. She don't like it. And we do have a name picked out, of course. I'm just trying to decide on spelling. I just, I think I know, but I'm just going to, like, wait. I think I'm probably going to announce it maybe, like, my 20-week ultrasound. When we go get it, I'll actually be, like, almost 21 week for my anatomy scan. So, I'll probably announce it then. Um, but I, week 13, I had a lot of sinus pressure. And I kept feeling really nauseous. I kept getting sinus pressure right here. Um, I only drank, like, a half a cup of coffee a couple times. Every single day, I woke up and I felt nauseous. Um... Which just sucked, but it's because of my sinus pressure. And I keep getting these migraines, which I'll tell you guys about in a second, but they're terrible. Um, during week 13, we heard her heartbeat, and her heartbeat was 147. And then we heard it um, also, well, actually, I'll get into that in a second. Um, she's only measuring two days behind, which isn't enough to change the due date. So, I'm still due September 1st. Um, and... I've just really, just week 13, I just had really bad headaches, and I was just really nauseous. Um, but I didn't throw up. Praise God. Like, literally, praise God. Um, I've been getting spray tans when I'm pregnant. The spray tans I'm getting, they're vegan-free, GMO, non-GMO, paraben-free. I mean, they're safe for pregnancy. So, it's like about the only thing that's keeping me feeling young and alive, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but, yeah, I've been getting spray tans, like, once a week, which I went, like, two weeks without not one. But I started getting when I was, like, 10 or 11 weeks. Um, I did get one, though, two days ago, and it's nice. But, um, woke up feeling nauseous till week 13. Every single day, I literally woke up feeling sick. That's what I'm reading. Had two days where I felt energetic and I felt bloated, but, bloated, but other than that, that's it. I've been needing a new bra, though, um, literally since, well, like, eight weeks, but I haven't gotten one yet, and I need to. It's bad. Like, it's bad, y'all. It's bad. I have a maternity sports bra, but I don't have a maternity bra. It's bad. I need one. And then, so week 14, um, I don't even feel pregnant most days. That's what I wrote. Most days I don't. Um, I guess just nauseousness and headaches. You get them everyday life sometimes anyway, so it's like, no, I can feel pregnant. Um, during week 14, I wrote, I can feel, I feel skinny today, but I can still see a tiny bump. I had really good energy. Week 14, I craved another Milky Way. Um, and I got Chick-fil-A when I was 14 weeks pregnant. And oh my gosh, it was so good. I could go for it right now. Like, literally. And my belly, whoops. My belly is completely hard now, though, which is exciting. Um, coffee still grossed me out, though. I got another spray tan week 14, and I was also craving chili. The only couple things I've created is, like, bagels and cream cheese, two Milky Ways, salt and vinegar chips. I was on a salt and vinegar chip for, like, a week. Um, oh, my gosh, I love me some salt and vinegar chips. So, week 15, I was grouchy and emotional, and I was tired sometimes. Uh, but I had been craving some vinegar chips, couldn't drink coffee. Coffee was literally making me gag. Like, I was trying to drink it, 
And I was like genuinely gagging. I was like, I'm not about this life. Um, and then I ate at Kyoto's during week 15, okay? I've been to a hibachi restaurant about five times since I've been pregnant. Every single time I get nauseous, never thrown up. Literally, I threw up probably mm, three or four hours afterwards. It was weird. But I haven't thrown up since. I've only threw up one time. Didn't drink coffee the whole entire rest of week 15. Um, and I just kept getting these terrible headaches. And then March 16th, we had our gender reveal appointment. So all of our family found out, like our parents and my sister and best friend. And then my parents and dad, my mom and dad threw us a gender reveal party. And it was amazing. And we found out she's a baby girl. Um, and I knew it too. I knew it the whole entire time. I don't know if I said it in my previous videos, but I called it and I said it in my previous vlogs. I'll also link the gender vlog down below. So if you haven't seen that, you can click on that. Um, oh, and I've had a couple of French fry cravings from McDonald's. Let me tell you all something. I don't eat at McDonald's. I used to, but I don't now. Literally, I've been craving French fries. I almost stopped today. On the way home, I was like, dude, I'm getting ready to stop and get French fries, but I didn't. But oh my gosh, French fries from McDonald's. But I get them with no salt on them because I get them fresh and they are so good. Week 16, I didn't even write barely because I was so busy nonstop. After we found out we were having, we literally did stuff nonstop. It was Jamal's birthday that Sunday. It was just crazy. Um, but I found out during week 16, I had only gained like two and a half to three pounds, which was like amazing, I think. Like, I'm proud to say that. Last week, I'm pretty sure I felt her move. I was at a rec league basketball game and I was standing up acting like a psycho yelling. And like just plays and stuff and I told Jamal I was like I think I felt her then I felt her again then I felt her like six more times that night then that next so basically about five days ago I felt her so I felt her two days in a row but I haven't felt her since so I'm gonna say I felt her but then some people say when you just feel them at first you don't feel them constantly or every day or whatever so I'm not freaking out about it it's fine um and then yeah I haven't really wrote anything since I actually need to write today um like you know, whatever. It's just been kind of hard. I mean, I know it's not an excuse, but I've just been busy. But the pregnancy's been easy so far. Um, and I'm 18 weeks pregnant today. Uh, we're going to do the nursery and elephants. I'm like a diehard elephant person. And I've always said if I had a girl, I would do it in elephants. Um, and yeah, my stomach, I really don't know. If you can see anything, it's just right here. And I'm not sucking at it at all. It's just right there. So I really don't even have, I really just don't have much of a stomach. Like literally like most people that don't know me at my job, um, like I meet different people every day. They can't even tell that I'm pregnant, you know? So when I tell them that I'm pregnant, they're like, what? Because I just don't really look that pregnant. I do, but I don't. Like obviously when I don't have any clothes on, I look pregnant compared to when I stand up. I thought I was going to pop by 20 weeks. Well, actually, I thought I was going to pop a little bit around 18 to 20, and obviously, I'm 18 and I haven't. I know that you can pop within like a week. Change, things change crazy when you're pregnant. I really don't think I'm going to pop though until I'm like 22 weeks, but uh, I ain't mad at it. So, anyways, though, so this video um, will be going up next, and then I will do a 18 through the rest of the fifth month, and then I'm just going to keep doing a video once a month. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Um, if you're pregnant or you have children, comment below and tell me how many you have and what are the genders, male or female. Um, I want to have four kids, so uh, I got to get it rolling, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but, yeah, Jamal and I were supposed to go to Punta Cana in April. We're not going. Um, we got a refund, which I'm so low-key sad about, which I'm glad we got a refund. But we are going to be going to Florida at the end of May. So we're excited about that. That's our only vacation as of right now, which probably will be our only vacation. I'm going to be big when we go. Not big, but I mean, I'll be 26 weeks. So that's like eight weeks from now. So, I mean, I'll be starting my six-month pregnancy, I think. Yeah. So anyways, though, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe.